New details have emerged now regarding the untimely passing of Pastor Ed Young's daughter, Lee Beth, that happened back in January. We're going to get into the details of all of it, guys. Right off the top, let me just mention to you really quick, I am now over on Rumble. My Rumble account is up. I encourage you guys to go over there and subscribe. The link is in the description. I suggest you guys subscribe over there as fast as you can. Our channel here was recently completely demonetized. We lost all of our revenue. So because of that, Rumble is going to be used as our backup. But also because we lost our revenue, guys, we really need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. A couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal. The PayPal link is down below. You guys can go sign up over there, either doing a one-time donation or even a monthly donation, which works out the best for us. But of course, whatever you're able to give is a blessing. Or you could sign up on Patreon. The Patreon link is down below in the description as well. You could sign up there for as little as $5 a month. When you do, you're going to get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. And we're also including the links to the YouTube videos over on the Patreon. Because unlike YouTube, you're not putting out all of the alerts for these videos so people are missing content. With Patreon, you don't have to worry about that. So it's a great source to make sure you don't miss anything. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, Pastor Ed Young uh, and his wife, uh, Lisa, they spoke this past Sunday at their church uh, about the passing of Lee Beth. Now, I had reported on this back when it happened. At the time, we really didn't have any details. We didn't know what happened. She was only 34 years old at the time of her passing. They just said that it was sudden, that it was unexpected, but they elaborated in full about all the details of what led to this. Now, Pastor Ed Young had started off by saying that Really, depression and loneliness was something that Lee Beth struggled with early on in her life, and he said that it actually got worse as she got older. He then went on to talk about how it was a couple of years ago that she was involved in a very tumultuous relationship that ended in a very bad breakup. Uh, that, unfortunately, then led to her starting to drink. Now, this is she was somebody that never was a drinker. She never partied. So when... Pastor Ed, he got word that this was happening. Both him and his wife, they were shocked. They're like, this isn't this isn't our daughter. This isn't like, this isn't who we who we you know who we raise. This isn't her, this just isn't her in general. And apparently, these drinking episodes ended up getting worse. They ended up getting a call apparently from one of her friends that she had suffered a seizure. And this apparently happened because the friend was taking Lee Beth over to the doctor. She had been doing, I guess, a late night drinking binge. And she had the seizure after they left the doctor's office. She had the seizure in the car. The parents, both uh, Pastor Ed and his wife, Lisa, were uh, going back into traveling back to Dallas. They were out of town at the time when they had heard this happen. Lee Beth had said that she was going to get herself into rehab, that she was going to get herself help. And things seemed to be going okay for a while. Uh, but then she had a couple of more relapses with this. She went back to the alcohol again. There was a time that Lisa recounted where Lee Beth had called her. She had a FaceTime call and she told Ed that you need to go see her. She's not well. She doesn't sound right. Pastor Ed went to go pick her up. They ended up bringing her back home to their house. And she was just telling them, she's like, I want to live. I want to be better. She just couldn't break this cycle of the alcoholism. And it was that night where Pastor Ed recounted one night. He was out in his study preparing for his upcoming service at church on Sunday uh, when Lee Beth had came into the room and said that she was feeling anxious and that she couldn't sit still. And he asked if she wanted to go to the hospital. She said no. She went back in to lay down. And he said he heard some noises not too long after that, which didn't sound good. She ended up having another seizure at that point. Now, his daughter-in-law was actually a nurse. And so they tried CPR on her there, tried to revive her. They called the ambulance, took her to the hospital, but unfortunately, they told both Pastor Ed Young and his wife that there was just no more response with her brain at all. No blood was getting to the brain. This seizure was unfortunately uh, what ended things for her. I mean, you know, for anybody that's struggled with alcohol or drug addiction, you know, it's like the body starts relapsing. It needs that alcohol when it hasn't had it or that drug for such a period of time in their body. And the fact that she already had these seizures, she was already suffering through this, um, this made it very difficult uh, so just just incredibly sad. I, I mean, you hear a story like this. Uh, this is what the devil does. He tries to get to young people, tries to ruin their lives. He plants thoughts of depression in, in, their, in their minds and all this other stuff. And then they get into drinking. They're in bad relationships. Said she was also struggling. She already had the issue with loneliness. And then she was 
you know, locked up because of Corona. She wasn't able to see some of her friends. So that added to it as well. Um, so very sad. Our prayers are going to be uh, continuing to go out to Pastor Ed Young and the whole entire family. If you guys would like to see the full um, a speech that they gave at the church regarding this, I'll go ahead and include a link for you down below here in the description. But let me just also say this is part of our ministry because there's so many people I know that are hurting out there that don't know Christ uh, we're, we know that Lee Beth did. You know, these struggles we know had nothing to do with her actual salvation. We know she had Christ. But the devil did everything he could to make sure that he took this girl out way before she was ever supposed to leave. For anybody watching this right now, if you've never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity. You can repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from something, to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is that's contrary to what the Word of God says or how God would want you to live your life. Ask Jesus to forgive you, and he will. And then invite him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. And when you do that, he will direct your path each and every single day. You're going to have a home with him in heaven for eternity. Just like Lee Beth right now. We know that she is with the Lord. You know, tomorrow is never promised. So we don't want to risk our eternities. We want to know that we're going to be with the Lord no matter what happens. So I hope you pray that prayer today if you haven't already accepted Christ as your Savior. Again, guys, all the links down below if you're able to help donate. That would be great. And my link to my Rumble is there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.